Whoa, g'day guys, and welcome to this episode of the Review and Tuesday with the very first four-wheel drive window smashing device, which also doubles as a doorstep. That's it. Thanks for watching this week's product review video. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking guys. I'm actually using this product right now, believe it or not. Did you catch it at the start there? Did you catch it? Anyway guys, welcome to this episode of Tech Tip and Check and Product Review and Chew and Tuesday. That's right, we've got another product review today. Well actually, it's one of the first products. A lot of them have been sort of like DIY techniques or like how to do this, how to do that. This time I've actually got a product and it's a good one. So have you worked out what it is yet? Because I ain't using it now, but I am using it now. That's right boys, it's a few extra inches in a bag. No, I'm not talking about Viagra, you sick f It's called the SUV doorstep and it gave me that extra height. Now have you ever had one of those moments in life, I know I have, where you go, there can't be any more ideas left. Everything that could possibly ever be invented has been invented, but I guess I was wrong because something so simple yet so effective has been created. This is a fully painted to design, painted, painted? Like what, are we painting something or are we patent? It's a paint, it's a, it's a patented design. It's a design that can't be copied and that's because it's so brilliant. It's so simple, super robust you probably already guessed what it's used for. It's for getting up onto your roof rack. Well, that's one of the uses. We're gonna go through a couple more soon, but something like this is brilliant because they're so strong, they're so cheap, they're so robust, they're so small and convenient. How long does it take to pack up your tent at night or pack up your camp? Mate, pack up your SUV doorstep, just like that. <laughs> I should be on TV, eh? Hello and welcome. All right, so how does it work? You probably worked it out already. Straight onto your door latch. So what they've done is use their amazing brains of obviously coming up with this idea to build something and create something that adapts to a part of a car that everyone has, which is your door latch. And the way it's been designed, it's not just something that hangs and it's not something that bolts into the side of your car. It uses both, so it actually uses the hook for the weight, but it pushes the weight into the wall of the car. Now, the other cool thing, these are built from like an aeroplane grade aluminium. It's got stainless steel pins. So it's not something that's gonna break. It's not something that's gonna go rusty. It's gonna last. And I've gone for a red one. They do a few different colors, obviously red, so you can see the bloody thing. You don't wanna lose it, but it's something that you can, when you use it, you just throw it into the side of your door. What's it rated to? So it's rated to, I believe, squeeze me notes, 230 kilos, which is the max weight load rating and that sounds like a lot and it is but can your car handle that of course it can the Australian standard for one of these door latches is 900 kilos of force that they can handle so when you've got a latch that's rated to 230 and a door handle that you're hooking it onto that's rated to 900 the door latch is a weak leak so don't worry about damaging your car that's not going to happen okay so another cool feature is what's on the tip here now they didn't explain this to me and it hasn't really been advertised, but I can only assume there's a point on the end and it's a heavy little thing. I reckon it's for smashing windows. If it's inside your car where you keep it to hop out in your door, the door is where you sit, which is close. If it's in the side of your car and you go underwater or you've rolled over and you need to get out, this is something you can grab quickly because you're not going to store this in the back of your canopy when you want it right next to you. But there's only one limitation when using this for smashing windows and that is a bit of muscle. This is like the best part of my day, I tell you what. Safety's on, of course. I'm gonna have to use a bit of muscle here. Okay, so apparently you need a bit of muscle to break them windows. It's all right, I got a solution. Okay, so would you call that a gimmick? I don't know. Maybe it's just on there for looks, maybe it's on there for use, but if you're really in a sticky situation, you have to do that you probably work out and find the strength to actually break the window. This transmission will continue after a short public service announcement. Hey guys, my name's Steve, and do you want to get your SUV doorstep today? Well, I got a great deal for you. These are one of the most innovative products ever to hit the market, and you can get one right now. On their website, they've actually got a 50% off deal. So $101 worth of value, don't worry about that, 
cut that in half. You can get it for fifty dollars fifty. Is that not good enough? Well, you can get ten percent more by using the code S E V I P ten. So you can save a further ten percent on that sale, making only forty five dollars fifty. That's insane. Well. That's not all we got, folks. You can actually order two SUV door sets for a further 20% off, bringing it down to $80.80. And on top of that, you can also use that discount code SEVIP10 for a further 10%. That brings it down to $72.72. That's crazy. Well, that's not all I got, folks. Everything that comes well comes in three. So if you order three door steps, you can actually get 22% off. And on top of that, the 10% off. Making it only $106. You're getting $303 value worth of SUV door steps for only six wait for only hundred dollars and six dollars. So I, I can't even keep up myself. Here we, you're actually making a savings of $196, guys. So make sure you use that code SEVIP10 to save that 10%. And you can make that sale right now by clicking that link below to get your SUV doorstop today. Holy shit. <laughs> also, while I'm up here, I want to tell you about my show, Show Your Dirt. You may have heard of it before if you're from WA, but it is going national this year. So Sydney show is happening on the 31st of August. So I've just dropped that now. I'll drop a little flyer up and a link in the description below for the event page. So Sydney will be happening soon. The other states are close to follow. We're gonna have Adelaide in October, Perth in November, Brisbane in February or March, I believe, and then Melbourne. Melbourne's a bit later. That's gonna be in August 2020. But guys, make sure you look out for those shows where you can come display your four-wheel drive. There'll be prizes, giveaways, music, food vans. It's all about the community. I wanna see your rigs. The Built Not Bought truck will be at all those shows as well because the top two judge vehicles will actually be put on display the following weekend at the 4x4 Adventure Show. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tech tip and check and tip and review and doorstep and Tuesday. And remember, if you want to save some money, order one of these using the code SEVRP10. We'll save you 10% plus whatever deals they got going on their website as well. And um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take it easy. Peace. I've just spent three months doing engine upgrades on my motor here. And I've been told I'm not allowed to turn the key until you press subscribe. Please press subscribe.